Hello everybody, it's the Generally Good Guy here, and today we are continuing to weave the epic that is the core campaign, led by our trusty and no longer drunk commander, Bryce, and he's been working on his nutrition. I've been giving him some tips, and he has been listening. He hasn't been, ha he hasn't been happy about having to listen to me, as I am just a lowly human, whereas he is fleshed machine, and so therefore he thinks of himself as more than me. Um, well, we know this isn't true, as I am the one that uh, pushes his buttons, as it were. Anyway, we're going to be continuing on. We are on level 6, and this level is called... Uh, I do not know. Let's have a look. Previous, will it say? Nope, that just goes back to the uh, single player game. So let's load the game there. I think it's called The Cleansing Begins, actually. Alright, so... Let's begin then. Let's listen to the narration and find out exactly what it is our narrator would like us to accomplish. Minerals were the prize of Barathrum, and the arm was mining them at a phenomenal rate, often using equipment which had been captured from the core during the occupation of the planet. The core commander realized that the key to a successful campaign on the boiling world would be to halt these operations cutting the arm off from the metals it so desperately needed. Troops were mobilized with a simple strategy. Search and destroy. Hoorah. Right, we've got a simple strategy then. Okay, so it says here as well, I've got a bit of a hint. Core air units will serve as a useful countermeasure, so we'll make sure we get some air units up for the first time. And destroy the arm base to the north. Okay, so we know we know basically what we have to do. Um, there's not too much difference to each level. At the moment it seems we do some work, we destroy the enemy. And there we go, that's that. Okay, so let's start off. Uh, what have we got? We've got a Fink. I think that's a Fink. Yes, it is. Um, and one Crasher. What I'm going to make him do is I'm going to make him patrol from there to there. Alright, that looks good to me. And the Commander at the same time. He'll be tasked with starting the base up. And the Crasher, I'm not sure why he's there. I'm not sure why he's there. Maybe just, uh, you know, make it a little bit more aesthetically pleasing. Or to, uh, or just give it a bit, a bit of diversity, to be fair. Maybe a little bit. Okay. So let's unpause. There we go. Right. Okay, we've got some more metal over there, so the Fink is clearing some space. Okay, uh, sorry about this, I tried to put it in 720p, um, but my laptop literally is rubbish. It is awful, and I need to get an upgrade. I will be getting an upgrade. I've been looking at computers, and I've got one in mind, and uh, yeah, I will be getting it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the settings back down unfortunately to 480 and hopefully we're going to deal with it for at least a couple more weeks and after that time everything will look better absolutely everything so even this little crash over here he'll no longer look like a oh I don't even know he's a um, uh, you know you know if we, if we were to say he was a seat a little chair a wooden chair um, as an analogy he would start looking like a oak-backed throne, uh, fit for a king. So yeah, I'm just going to stop the recording and switch back to 480. And we're back. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. Hopefully it won't affect you guys too much um, for the time being. I know it's a pain having to see things in a bit less quality, a bit less uh, um, high definition, but unfortunately we're going to have to deal with it just for a little bit until I get my computer fixed. Sorry, until I get a computer fix. So, um... It should only take a couple of weeks, but let's continue anyway. I think this is a record. I just made another very newbie mistake. I was, well, I thought I was recording. Uh, and unfortunately it turned out that the past 20 minutes of me talking have actually been for little reason but to hear my own voice. So unfortunately you guys won't get to hear what I was talking about. Um, but hopefully I'll be able to recreate it in the next 15-ish minutes and give you a flavour of what was uh, what was going on. So basically, I, I once again 
I once again got naked, I took photos, I pasted them onto my video, uh, somehow or other, I'm not sure exactly how you do that now, so I think I, I've forgotten how to do it, so unfortunately I won't be able to recreate that for you, that point in particular, but I can try to recreate what I did last time. So what I try to do is I very quickly try to force the creation of a cable lab, get some crashes out, um, just in case there are any incoming uh, aircraft from the enemy, from the arm side, the scum, and I recreated some crashes, I got them posted up here, so just in case we had any quick attack, any quick launch of, or site of battle, and yeah, so I'll try and recreate exactly what I did. And I'm not going to tell you what happens, or I'm not going to give any sort of secrets away, because obviously, you know, this game is, if, you, if I say any sort of spoiler, you guys are going to flame me, you're going to flame me, you're going to flame me bad, aren't you? So I'm not going to do that, I'm not going to do that, I'm going to pretend as though I don't know what's, what's going to occur, what's occurring. Okay, so, I've got these uh, refinery areas, or refinery creations created. I shall create a cable lab, get those crashes out, and I'll let them do some work if they need to. Okay, so I'm going to patrol upwards a little bit and just see what we've got up here. Okay, I'm just trying to remember what I talked about because I don't know <laughs> my memory is that bad. I don't know if I talked about these things in the last video or uh, the video previous. But I'll, I'll talk about it anyway. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I've had quite a few comments about the quality, the sound quality of my videos. And I'm going to be doing something about it. I definitely am. I don't want you guys to suffer. I don't want your ears to suffer. I don't want them to bleed due to the sound of my voice. So what I've done is I've gone out and I've bought... Or I haven't gone out. That's, that's not what you do these days. Now over the internet. I went and I ordered a blue snowball. And if you don't know what a blue snowball is, it's a summertime snowball, which doesn't melt, and you can talk into, and it's very good quality sound, apparently, or output. So that's what I've done. I've gone out and bought one of them, and it's a standalone, so it's not a headset or anything like that. It's a standalone, and apparently it's very good quality. So you guys, if you have heard of it, or if you guys have got it yourself, you know, just tell me. Tell me what you think, because if you guys don't think it's that good... Um, I'm going to try it out. If you guys don't think it's that good, then I will send it back because whew, it costs a little bit of money. But I think you guys are worth it. In fact, I'm sure you guys are worth it. There's no doubt in that. So, hopefully, these videos will be crystal clear quality. Unfortunately, there's nothing I can do about the video at the moment as it becomes almost unplayable when the FPS goes down to a dismal 20 which is literally very embarrassing actually <laughs> now I think about it for a game of this age 1997 I think it's going to have to 20 FPS that is that's awful it could be partly due to the fact that my hard drive is full of absolutely everything I went out and bought a once again I didn't go out because I'm lazy I bought a 200 gigabyte hard drive the other day, and um, for this purpose, for this purpose, and for my other channel's purpose as well, which is also uh, video creation, and it's basically just just me talking over certain videos or over uh, webcam, but it's nothing to do with this. So, if any of you have actually found out what my other channel is yet, then I'll be very interested to hear that. I'm very interested indeed. Um, so yeah, I bought that hard drive and it's almost full up already, so I'm going to have to delete a lot of those videos off. Which is it's fine, because I've got all the videos anyway on YouTube, so they're all stored there. So if I need to go back to them, or I need to, I need a timeline of my life, I can, just, I can just look on YouTube, can't I? That's what I can do. So it's no big deal. No big deal at all. Okay, and I'll get some of these guys. I did say that I'd make some crashes first, didn't I? Which I, I didn't do. Which I didn't do, I'm sorry about that. Um, let's get some more metal. I think I saw one over here somewhere. Is it around here? Yeah, there we go. So I'll get that there, and at the same time I'll put another one of these here, and 
just for a defensive measure, we'll get a light laser tower there. As who knows what could could turn up over there. We don't want those those non missile units to be unprotected. We want something there. We want some warning system before they get destroyed. Okay, so we've got you now. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna very quickly set these pulverizers. Pulverizers are very cheap. They seem well they seem to be very cheap uh resource cost. So I think it's a good something good to invest in. Okay. What I'd ideally actually prefer to be able to do is to get this Fink and clear out some of the black fog closer to my base so I can actually start moving upwards uh, and creating structures upwards uh, further north. I would have expected a, an arm attack by now as we seem to have had a few arm attacks quite early on in the previous levels but doesn't matter, doesn't matter. Okay, so there's quite a lot of meta around here, which is good. Oh, I was outside again today, revising, revising hard. Well, I say hard. It was, uh, it was a bit difficult. I don't know if any of you have tried revising outside. Or well, maybe you can do it, but I, I can't. I really can't do it. The heat was, uh, it was just too much. I'm a typical English guy, English gentleman, as it were. And I, I can't take any heat over about 25 degrees. So I sat outside in my shorts, exposing my brilliantly bronzed legs. And I sat down, sat down. First of all, the seat was too hot. The seat was a white plastic, sorry, black plastic uh, chair. And if you, know, if you know a little bit about physics, you know that black, especially glossy black, is a great, great absorber of heat, uh, which is not most preferable of qualities at uh, this time of year. So I was sat in a scorching hot seat, uh, trying to look at my white piece of paper, which was reflecting the sun and blinding my eyes, and I was literally cooking in my clothes as well. And once again, I was sweating like a pig, and my two-tone, well, my shirt, which was not two-tone, turned out to be two-tone, or looked two-tone by the end of the period of five minutes outside due to excessive sweat or excessive perspiration. All right, so we've got a little bit going on. I'm going to do is pause it real quick, find out where these metal points are. See, it's annoying. The uh, mouse won't move while while pause, and I don't really understand why that is. Anyway, I've got some now. So he can he can do a little bit of travelling, which is good because Bryce does need to do some travelling. Bryce is he's still on his his rigorous routine of two and a half hours solid exercise per week, which is the WHO's recommended amount and also the FAO's as well. Uh, so he's managing to keep up with that. His nutrition, uh, his nutritional lifestyle is going very well. He's managing to keep his protein at a good level. He's at 100 grams a day, which is, you know, it's alright, it's a good level. Um, at the same time, his low GI carb intake is very good, it's very high. He's on three portions of, of uh, oats a day, um, so he's decreasing his risk of cholesterol. But what I haven't told him is that he has no risk of cardiovascular disease because he has no heart but I don't like to tell him that, I won't tell him that because I think that will just make him upset um, although it's been a long time since he transferred his consciousness from fle flesh to machine he still is under the well, the scientists that did it the uh, surgeons that did it they, they told everyone that they would keep their heart and really, you don't keep your heart you don't keep anything they transfer your blood out of your body and throw it in a bin and replace it with oil so he hasn't got a heart, but I'm not going to tell him that. I'm going to keep him eating his, his oats and keep him in that dream state for a bit longer until he upsets me. Okay. Right, I want this Fink. Actually, let's pause it. I want this Fink to 
Where is he? Uh, that's in there. Okay, I'm going to move him further north now and find out what is going on with the arm because I would have expected some movement by now and seeing nothing nothing is scaring me a little bit. There's some more metal as well. So Actually, I probably should pause it again just so I can keep on top of Mr. Finky. And he has an interesting backstory as well. Similar to Bryce, he manages to... Oh, damn it. <laughs> I uh, accidentally unclicked him. So... Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> well, Bryce... Bryce uh, chose Fink, or Finky, especially. And I'm not going to tell him that Finky's dead. I think he's gone to a, a better place. I'm not going to tell him that, because it will just upset him, and he will pack it all in, and probably kill himself now. So I'm not going to tell him that, but I think he did have a, an interesting backstory. He was always an outsider. Uh, he was always smaller than the rest, and he was always picked on, because he was the only aeroplane without any guns, and everyone else had guns. Uh, or a radar, and he had no useful functions. So everyone used to pick on him, everyone used to beat him up, and so he developed an extremely good... Um, speed or rate of acceleration and uh, this was developed after many many beat ups uh, he managed to get faster and faster and run away from those bullies and he, he managed to get away every time uh, after a while and Brycey he uh, he noticed this and he took him under his wing and he degunned all those gu those planes that were, were were picking on him and he gave Finky the prime job as scout of the core forces and so ever since then, Fink became Bryce's right-hand or right-winged man, and now he's dead. Bryce will not have a reason to live, because I think they also had a thing. I'm not going to judge, I'm not going to guess or assume, but I... Okay, I am going to assume. I think they did have a thing, and, you know, if they want to, it is the future, so maybe robots in the future can do that. I mean, I don't know if they have their own... Yeah, okay, there we go. That's how they reproduce. I don't know if they can reproduce any other way. So, obviously, Bryce is now reproducing to produce this metal extractor. As I, as I said earlier, they have the genetic material of every creature in their species uh, within them, so they can produce anything they want. So I don't know if they can reproduce any other way to make it more exciting, but if they can, I'm sure that Fink and Bryce probably did. Anyway, it's not a big deal. You know, as long as they're having fun. And on that tasteful note, I think we'll leave it there for today. And I will be getting another video out straight away after this. So I'm going to be continuing playing. But just for my sake, or being able to get out these videos as quickly as possible, I'm going to leave it there. And as you can see, we've got the base going well. The only thing I think is troubling us at the moment is the fact that we are low on metal, but we've got some we've got some good troops here. I'm going to just quickly move these guys up a little bit further north. I'm going to move them actually up to there, so they are uh, protecting this little metal extractor. I shall move three of them above this metal extractor, and I'll move the newly created ones into the middle. So we have uh, three points of of call. So if anyone attacks in the middle, we can flank both sides or. If anyone attacks here, we can flank on the the uh, on the enemy's left hand side. So it's all, it's all good. It's all good. It's going well. And I would just like to make sure that the tank, yeah, they're they're still doing well. They're still doing well. And they're moving into a good position. I think actually it's a bit too far south. I'll move those guys up as well. So we'll be getting a good force built up over here. And then what we can do is we can move north gradually. I should probably clear out this area as well. Maybe I should buy another. Actually, I'll get a couple of weasels and I move them over there. So that's what I'll do next. So we'll get some weasels, we'll scout out the rest of this area, and we'll do some do some decent work. Anyway guys, thank you very much. Once again, thank you for subscribing. It means a huge amount to me. Two two days and fifteen subscribers. That's outstanding in my opinion. And it's all down to you guys. Absolutely all down to you. If you enjoy my videos, if you enjoy watching them, then please leave a like. I understand the quality might not be the best, but that's going to be changing soon, and I'm going to be striving to bring you guys high quality and a lot of quantity, so a high quantity as well of content every day, so absolutely every day. I try for a minimum of three videos, and each of them 
around about 15 minutes, maybe a bit longer. I'm not going to go below 12, I don't think. So hopefully it'll be a good amount of content for you to watch. And, you know, hopefully it's a bit relaxing. It's just, you know, a bit of a break from the rest of the day. And I know I know I do it. You know, I go on other people's YouTube channels. I've been doing it for a long time now. I've been, you know, if I need to relax, if I need to do something um, to calm me down, I'll go and I'll watch a, a good good YouTube video, a good uh, commentator that's talking, just talking about the day. And I enjoy that. So I hope you enjoy me talking about the day. And I hope you'll also join me next time. Thanks very much, guys. You are lovely.